The Mob Mauler is an amazing option to boost your mid-game mob damage and surprisingly makes up one of the best chimp strats in the game, but which crosspath you should go is what we are going to cover today. To start, the 030 Mob Mauler has 14 pierce, does 19 damage to mob class balloons, 2 damage to ceramics, and 1 damage to everything else. When upgraded to a 230, the Mauler gets 16 additional pierce and 1 extra damage to all balloon types. Compare this to the 032, where the Mauler gets extra range, sharp frags that deal 1 damage, and the ability to pop black balloons. Off the rip, it sounds like these two crosspaths are very even, but some external factors are what makes one path much better. The first factor is that the best hero to pair with Mob Maulers is Striker Jones, and it isn't even close. Striker gives extra attack speed, range, pierce, and makes Black Balloons vulnerable to explosive damage. Combine this with the fact that the one extra damage from Frag Bombs is almost unnoticeable after the early game, and the bottom path is really only useful for a tiny bit of extra range. So 032s are off the table, but what if I told you 230s weren't the play either? See, there's one more support tower that is super beneficial to the Mob Mauler strat, and that is the primary mentoring village. The 420 village provides camo detection, attack speed, pierce, range, and projectile speed bonuses on top of making the tier 1 upgrades free for all primary monkeys in its range. So, once we have this village done, we're going to be making our bomb shooters 130s for the free 6 extra pierce. Just like frag bombs, the 1 extra damage from heavy bombs just isn't noticeable, and that extra pierce isn't worth it until very late game when you're drowning in blimps. So in rounds 90 plus, it can be a good idea to upgrade them to 230s, but typically the money is better spent upgrading them to 140s for that sweet, sweet ability. These 130 bomb shooters are strong enough to take out all the blimps in a run, but what about the ceramics? Mob maulers are not good at taking these guys out, but luckily we have some easy pivots. Before round 80, recursive clusters are excellent for taking out ceramics, and they receive the bonuses from Striker Jones and the Village. Rounds 81 and up are when Super Ceramics come out to play, and this is when you'll want to either get a Bloon Impact Bomb Shooter or some Ice Monkeys, as both of these guys make them much easier to handle. But that is why the top crosspath is better, and some additional tips to help you out with your Mob Mauler runs.